Yo, yo, what it is, it's Caleb. Today we're going to be talking about some numeric interesting things like uh, basically operators and operator precedents. If you have any kindness at all in your heart, I really ask that you just check out our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain's going to give you what you need to succeed as a web developer in a JavaScript environment. So if you want to learn how to integrate with, you know, JavaScript, React, Node.js, and use these tools to solve real world problems, you need to check out the Dev Mountain Bootcamp. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Mention that I sent you, they'll give you 250 bucks off, and it would really help me out too, so please check them out. Thanks guys. All right, now that you went through that boot camp and we're back, we're gonna be talking about arithmetic operators, which you should know by now if you went through that boot camp, but we're gonna go over them anyways. All right, so where do we even start? You know, we always have to use an example with pizza, so we're gonna have a variable slices of pizza, and we're gonna set that equal to 10. And we're gonna use this throughout the program, but right now I'm going to make a comment section to list the operators. So we have the plus operator, the minus operator, the multiplication operator, the division operator, and one you may have not heard of, which is the modulus operator, and we're gonna get into that. So let me just give a little space here. So these are the operators that are used for arithmetic, the arithmetic operators. You can use these operators to make expressions. And you can use pure values, so I could say 50 plus 50, or what I could do is I could use variables inside of these expressions. So I could say slices of pizza plus 10. Then this will show up in the console. Oh boy, I'm so zoomed in. Uh, right there, 20. So that's the first one, it's pretty simple. Minus works the same way, nothing too crazy. You guys should have learned this in like, I don't know, 10th grade. The only one that might confuse you is this modulus operator. It's much less common. The way this works is it will give a remainder of some division. So let's say we wanted to split this pizza between three people and you couldn't cut a piece in half. That means there's gonna be one left over. So if we use the modulus operator and say three because we're splitting it amongst three people, we will get the value one. One thing that's cool with JavaScript modulus is that you can actually use decimal values. Some other languages don't let you do this. This means we could split it with, I don't know, 4.25 people. <laughs> kind of a stupid example, but you can see that when we refresh this, we get 1.5. So if you're working in C, for example, you couldn't put the 4.25, you could only use whole numbers such as four. The next thing I wanted to talk about was operator precedence. Oftentimes you'll have expressions with numerous operators in a sequence. Let's just go through some examples and see how this works. We're basically going to come up with a large expression that uses numerous values. So let's just go with this here. The precedence basically defines in what order these things get evaluated. We're not gonna be using the modulus or the remainder operator in this example, but just so you know that it has the same precedence as the multiplication and division. But it is a very cool operator. You can do a lot of magical things. So it's definitely gonna show up. So make sure you understand the basics of how it works. All right, so we need to think of how this is going to evaluate. Let's just print it out. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff up here and we're gonna console log this variable. When we do a refresh, we get 39. Let me zoom in, there we go. So the way this is getting grouped is, uh, let me just show you with another example. The first thing that happens is the multiplication and division. So you can use parentheses to indicate that. You can put parentheses anywhere and they'll just basically force that section to be evaluated first. So when we refresh this, we still get 39. Oh, let me print the second one too. We refresh and we still get 39. So this is the default precedence. These are going to happen first and then the results are going to be added with five, and then that's gonna be subtracted from whatever's left over here. You can force a different precedence using parentheses in different spots. So I'm gonna go through another example and we'll print that. Let's say we wanted the addition to happen first, and then the subtraction. We could do that like so, and that'll force a different value. So multiplication and division and the modulus have equal precedence. You can see that on this operator precedence chart. So we have multiplication, division, and remainder all at 14. And then addition and subtraction is next. So when you have multiplication, division together in the same expression, it's just whatever happens left to right. So in this situation, this one's gonna happen first, and then this one. The concept of whether it's left to right or right to left is known as its associativity. Most of what we're familiar with is left to right, and that's how all of these arithmetic operators work. My recommendation is to use parentheses whenever you can, even if it's not super necessary. 
like in this situation, this does the same exact thing as this thing up here, but it's much easier on the eyes to be able to look at an expression and just visually see which ones are going to get evaluated first. Now there are some other cool operators I wanna to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna be showing you guys that in the next video. That's gonna be talking about how to increment a variable as well as do some cool assignments. So check that video out and please be sure to check the links in the description for the sponsor. Thank you guys and please be sure to subscribe. Also, just out of curiosity, do you believe it's okay to put pineapple on pizza? Leave a comment in the comment section below, but please keep it civil. You can put a comment for with it or without it, and the ones with the most likes will win. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.